Okay, so as you guys can see, yes, we are flying. Um, reason being is I deleted a world. It's kind of funny, I actually just started explaining this stuff, and then an ad. This had to go off in Facebook. So because of that, <coughs> I have to delete that entire like three minutes and restart. But yes, the reason why we are flying is because I wasn't fully paying attention yesterday. And I accidentally deleted our uh, Let's Play world, so yay for epic failure on my part. So what we're doing is we are looking for an area that looks inviting. But the thing is, as soon as I knock a block, it doesn't matter what block, then I automatically have to stay in that area. So, we are trying to look for a nice new home. There it is, and I found out why there was that original first restart. It's because granite was so hard to find, I guess, that it was actually edited to make it. Wow. It's like a bat cave, man. Does it come with its own little cave? Sadly, no. How about over here? Is it a cave over here? Doesn't look like it. it looks like an actual entrance. An actual entrance over here too. No, but I want to keep this. <laughs> okay, maybe no. It's not big enough. <laughs> but like, with how tall this place is, I could like build a house in here. I'm not kidding, like, I could grow trees and fully build a actual full-on house in this cave. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> nice, flat, solid area of rock. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Let's drop down. It's a hidey hole, basically, for the monsters. Awesome. Well, a forest is the ideal location, mainly being due f to the fact that, you know, you have all the trees around, but after what I've been doing in my normal world, I'm thinking we're going to want a jungle nearby. Unless we find some like epic cave system while floating around, we're building near a damn jungle. <laughs> Basic main reason why I'm flying is to find us a place to start building faster than it would take to get there on foot. That way we can get straight to what we're. Actually, here for. 
so. Okay, hold on. Letting render. Because <coughs> flying, you move a hell of a lot faster, so it's harder for it to keep up. So. Got some sheep. Got some reeds. Oh, what is over here? Hey, here we go. Wow. It's not a jungle, dude. That is a fortress. Covered in trees. Any caves anywhere in here? Nope. How about in the one over here? I'm only gonna be doing this for another minute or so. And then I guarantee that we're gonna land. Try, and I do say try, to find some uh, flint. I guess we should probably f go and somewhere where it's a little bit safer ground if possible if there is any or oh, it's actually closer to the ground that way it's easier to find stuff okay so we got a foresty area right here which is nice and we got our giant jungle that I also wanted over there. So, it all works out. And I just saw a cave. So, let's... Oh wow, my frames suck. Let's drop it down, shall we? Okay. Creative mode off. Sadly, there's cows up here, not sheep. But what I'm going to do is go to waypoints, add, and then put in base. I don't care that's pink. Base is a base, man. looking for is flint <coughs> that way we can start chopping down some of the forest and as well the jungle because the jungle concentration of uh, wood of course is going to be a lot higher Now, you can, now that, uh, you can actually grow wheat in Terraforma Craft now, because originally you couldn't, and for some reason in NPC villages, it doesn't allow it. Like, if you find, if you ever find an NPC village, you are going to find that all the wheat is basically uplifted out of the ground which is not good and so basically you have about five minutes after or so after that chunk loads to actually go and get it so yeah okay so we're gonna now that we have this let's go back to the base area <coughs> oh, 
Oh. It sucks, I feel sick, but I'm not sick. It's kind of, what's even funnier is the fact that I only have to go to school for like 10 minutes, but. But that's not for like four hours. <laughs> I'll build it over here by the water, so. Now we're gonna come over here. And we're gonna get this kerplunk tree, whatever the hell they're called. And you're gonna see why. We don't need wood for a long time now. I'll be lucky if my inventory isn't full. Yeah, see, our inventory is already full of wood. That is how awesome these trees are. Okay, cows scared the shit out of me. When playing on this mod, because it's already hard enough, and I have to worry about bloody creepers and that as well. make it even harder. Make sure one second. Make sure that um, okay. So I am playing on normal difficulty. Let's break off some of this cuz this dirt's gonna become part of our house, and we also need to make a bonfire, basically. Or a smoke pit. Whatever the hell you wanna call it. A coal pit. Let it have, you know. <coughs> Actually, what we will do. First, we're gonna run the hell away from this damn skeleton. He's hiding behind that tree, and I know it. Um, uh, entities, monsters. That's just in general scary. I will be back once day breaks, guys. So, yeah. Actually, I was just check. Oh, crap. So, I was just checking what utility mode does. It turns on that magnet mode. So, stuff will be pulled to you from a further distance. Um, I want to know if you guys classify that as cheating or not. Because if not, I'll use it. Sure. It, it really doesn't do anything to actually affect the game. Much. You know, it basically allows me to grab items a little bit easier. 
And we have a freaking creeper now. Great. Bad creeper. Just leave me alone, you stupid creeper. Okay. Wow, dude. Zombie! Leave me alone, you stupid zombie. There's probably another one in that pile over there, so I don't want to go over there. Okay, what type of stuff is this? Crap, and I can't even pick it up. Mudstone. We don't need mudstone. But what we do need is tools, so I'm not going to exactly complain. I'm just going to take this stuff. because we need some better stuff. Mm. <laughs> better tools always start with a pickaxe. There we go. Okay. Also, we're going to need a place to start storing some of this wood, so... Awesome. Good, and I can barely hear anything because of this bloody... Excuse me. But yeah, I can barely hear anything because of this bloody freaking rain. You can only sleep at night. No shit, Sherlock. Uh. 
Okay. Problem is, mudstone isn't one of the materials we can use to make an anvil or anything. So, what we're gonna have to do is come over here. Ooh, flint. You never know when I'm gonna have to make a flint tool, so I wanna keep that stuff in stock. What is this? Shell. No, we can't use shell. Uh, screw it. I have to dig down somehow, so. Okay, so I have to get out of here for a minute because we're going to need some sticks. Oh, okay. Back to home base for a minute. We got a topaz. I don't think I've ever had a topaz before, so far in this, with this mod. Okay, so let's get some torches going. Okay. I don't want my door right there. I want my door. Like right there. And I don't see much other use <coughs> for dirt at this point. Okay, so currently we're at 54 in depth. Rocks we need typically don't start showing up until around 40 or so. As long as the game's been programmed to be the actual way the actual rock formations are supposed to be. Huh. I don't know if they are. No, that's marble. But got nothing wrong with marble. This stuff may end up helping us, so... But first, we need to get back out of here. Okay, so we've actually already come across something which could be very, very helpful or very, very bad for us. Because if one of those things cave in, it could cave in enough where we're not getting out anytime soon. The upside to it, though, is that... is that it's already a pre-dug out area for us 
so it can make searching go a lot faster. Yes, I know you can only do it at night. Um, I guess we're gonna need some more sticks. So I'm thinking, unless the zombie's dead, might as well free him, kill him. Put him out of his misery, you know? One thing I have not come across though is uh, the Kerplunk tree saplings. I have a feeling like I know why, because of how powered they are. But <laughs> still, like you, you would think you know you'd at least be able to find this stuff. Actually, one should do it. I just want to put down our amount of sticks down to 20. Okay. Problem is, if I currently die, I don't respawn here. So we're gonna have to be careful. Mm. Of course, there's no way of telling what time it is yet. One second, is that a... Well, if the squid isn't here, it's too bloody deep for me to get to, so... Okay, so what the hell do we have here? We got more marble. I don't want marble. Rhylite. Of course, I'm not gonna pass these up. I have to be an idiot to pass these things up.
Holy shit. Okay, well, anyways, guys, it has been 30 minutes of filming, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I will talk to you guys all later. Bye now.